Hello everyone, let me take you on a day trip to Rome. Rome is big and has plenty to see, so I decided to make a travel vlog of what we managed to see in one day. You can also find individual videos of each mentioned attraction in the description box below. First, we went to the Basilica di Santa Maria in Trastevere. It is one of the oldest churches of Rome and possibly the oldest that was dedicated to Mary, Mother of Jesus. The basic floor plan and wall structures of the basilica date back to the 4th century. The influence of classical Roman forms combined with the Byzantine artistic heritage creates a beautiful result. The basilica also provided a nice cool shelter from the heat of the Roman sun. From there, we walked on the Garibaldi's bridge towards the direction of the Pantheon. Pantheon is a must-see in Rome. It is one of the best preserved of all ancient Roman buildings. The Pantheon's dome is still the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome, more than 2000 years after it was built. The dome has a central opening, oculus, to the sky. Throughout the day, light from the oculus moves around like a sundial, marking time with light instead of a shadow. The painter Raphael and two Italian kings are buried here. After visiting the Pantheon, we walk to the Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain is stunning, and its frequent appearance in the movies has made it one of the symbols of Rome. The fountain is the largest baroque fountain in the city, and one of the most famous fountains in the world. The fountain is also known for the coin throwing custom, where the coin is supposed to be thrown by the right hand over the left shoulder. An estimated 3,000 euros are being thrown into the fountain every day and the profits are used for charity needs. There are guards next to the fountain to protect it, prevent people from climbing in or other ways of damaging it. The majority of the piece is made from travertine stone. The area can get very crowded by tourists, so we decided to sit down for an aperol in a nearby cafe with a full view of the Trevi fountain and without the pushing. After visiting the Cherry Fountain, we walked towards the Forum Romanum and the Colosseum. It was already too late to pay entry to visit either, but one can still see a lot from the street. Walking down the Via dei Fori Imperiali, one can see the Augustus Forum, Forum Romanum, the Trajan Forum, the Temple of Venus, and many more. The Colosseum is at the end of this road. The Colosseum is an important building for Rome. It is used for various cultural purposes and houses a museum. It is one of the most visited attractions in Rome. It is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and it's still the largest standing in the world today, despite its age. The average audience size was about 65,000. It was used for exhibitions of exotic animals, executions of prisoners, gladiator fights, dramas based on Roman mythology and mock sieg battles. So this was our day in Rome, hope you had fun 